Well, how you doing? Mr. DJ back. It's late on, well, it's very early on a Sunday morning. Well, Monday morning, rather. And I want to try to co cut a couple of more videos for my 50s YouTube channel, Outsourcing Billboard's Hot 100 a week of April the 18th, 1959. Got a lost 45 by the Crest. The Crest 16 Candles was their biggest hit. That went to number two. 1958, 1959, sold over a million copies, went gold for them, the Crest. The Crest, they were formed by a fellow named uh, J.T. Carter. This was back in the mid-50s, and uh, he picked the lead singer of the Crest, and that lead singer would be a guy named Johnny Maestro, the lead singer of the Crest. The Angels listened in, fantastic record by the Crest. There were 16 candles, of course, but I get to these lost 45s, step by step. That was a big hit for the Crest. That was in 19, I believe that was in 1960, and there was Trouble in Paradise, another great song. Johnny Maestro, fantastic singer. He had that distinctive voice. You, you, you heard a Crest record, you know, hey, that's Johnny Maestro, man. Uh, now, uh, one interesting point about the Crest, I didn't know this. One of the original members of the Crest, her name Patricia Fandros, the older sister of Luther Fandros. She left the group, though, in 1958. That was after they cut a couple of records for the Joyce record label. Uh, the big hit, Step by Step and Sixteen Candles and the song I'm going to play for you, off the co-ed record label. The co-ed record label also had hit records by the Duprees, one by Trey Martin, and the Harp Tones. Pretty significant record label back in the day. Now, 1961, 1962, around that area, around those years, Johnny Maestro left the crest to pursue a solo career. He sang with a variety of record labels in the mid to late, well, in the early to mid 60s. United Artists, there was uh, Skepta Records. He released a side off a of Skepta record label. He also recorded for the Cameo record label. One hit that comes to mind that he had back in the early 60s, Model Girl, fantastic song. Around 1961, 62 for Johnny Maestro. Mid to late 60s, Johnny Maestro became a lead singer of a group called Dale Santons. The Dale Satins merged with another group called the Rhythm Method, forming Johnny Maestro and the Brooklyn Bridge. And they had that. Johnny Maestro came back again. Singing abilities just coming right to the fore on the worst that can happen. All right, all the way back now to 1959 on this record. Six Nights a Week by the Crest. Wasn't one of their biggest hits. It went to number 28. Not bad, not bad, respectable, top 30 hit for the Crest. Uh, the week of April the 18th, 1959, boy, it was hauling some major butt off the, up, on, up on the charts. From 70 to 39, it is at number 39 the week of April 18th, 1959. On Billboard's Hot 100 for 13 weeks, the Crest, six nights a week.